voice of your students is very important for online teaching. Today I'm going to show you an application which you can use to ask your students to create a short video on any topic. Then you tell them a grading criteria which you will be using to grade their videos. They can record and submit the video straight from within the application or they can also upload the video. You watch the video, you grade them and you give them a feedback. So it is a fantastic video discussion board. You can also involve parents of your students and other guests who could be topic experts. They can also watch the videos and also add their own videos. So everyone is creating short videos and expressing their point of view on a particular topic. So this is a complete tutorial on Flipgrid which is owned by Microsoft and we are starting right after this short break. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Tahir and I create videos about online teaching. The subjects which I teach such as LaTeX control systems, Scilab and also I have some guidance videos about PhD students. So if any of these topics interest you, please hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell to get notified whenever I post a new video on this channel every Tuesday and Friday. I have created two tabs here. I will be using I educator as well as a student account to demonstrate Flipgrid. So my plan for today's video is that first I will show you the complete process from a student's perspective, how to submit your video assignment or a video response when a teacher sends you a flip code for a video assignment. And then I will explain from a teacher's perspective how we can create an assignment or a topic in our grid what are the features and what are the functions we can apply to our assignment. So let's say first I want to log in as an educator. So I click on this uh, educator login. And now I have few tabs at the top, my activity, my grids, mixtapes, grid polls, disco library and shorts. We will be discussing most of the features in these tabs. So let's start from my activity first. In this tab, I have further three tabs, the dashboard, achievements, and recent videos. Now, first I would like to mention a, a very important thing that a grid is considered as a class. And then on one grid, we create topics and those topics can be considered as assignments. Currently, I have one grid created and two topics created. This also shows me total videos. Uh, videos this week and also the views. When you start using Flipgrid, you get certain achievements which are mentioned here. Then we have the recent videos and this is a video submitted by one of my students, which is actually myself by using another account. I can view this as a student by clicking on this icon. Now I can make this video active or hidden. If I click on the share button, I get a link and I can share this to various places. And I can copy the embed code. I can share on Microsoft Teams in my Google Classroom. I have a separate video on Google Classroom. You can watch that video if you want. Or I can also share on Remind. I can also get a QR code for this. So I can share a QR code or I can copy the link. Now in the action tabs, I have few more options for uh, this student's video. I can edit this response if I click on edit response. So this is the video of my student. I can put some comment for the students here. But the important tab is this feedback tab. And if I click on this feedback, by default, there are two grading rubrics. It means that by default, when I create a topic, uh, there will be two default rubrics for the students to get an idea how I am going to grade their video. So one is the idea that how good is the idea they brought with this video. And there are four marks for idea and two marks for performance. Then I can select how many marks I want to give this to student for this particular area. And I can also select marks for this particular area and then I can make some comments. Then I can copy this feedback link and send to my student or I can directly email this feedback. Then there is a share uh, tab and again this is the same which we have already seen. So the important tab here is the feedback tab. Now if you want to add some more rubrics, I'm going to show you in a minute how you can add this. This is possible 
by using the custom rubrics while creating a topic or assignment. So let's email this feedback to my student and it will show me that email has been sent and now I can simply close this. So this is how as a teacher I work on a video when I see a video response in my dashboard area. So you can straight away come in this area look for the recent videos of your students and you can then give them the feedback and grade them. And now what I want to show you is how a student can log in. So if I click on my grades and I click on the name of the grade in this grid I have two topics one topic I have created myself and the second topic I got from this disco library. So let's say I want to invite student to this particular topic. So I click on this and this is the flip code of this grid which I have to give to my student. So it is 48BD224F and now I am trying to enter as a student. So I click here. So it was 48BD224F and I click here and now it will create a new tab and now in this tab I have to enter by using a Google account or a Microsoft account. So I will be using a Google account. So I will click here. I will select my Google account and then I will enter into my student area. So I will do that and then I will see you inside my student console. And now I am logged in as a student. So this was the topic. Tell me about yourself. Uh, so my teacher has asked me to make a short video on this. Now I can see that there are two attachments here which my teacher has given and I will also show you how you can do this as a teacher. So first is a YouTube video. So I click here. I can watch this video and this video could be helpful for me for creating that particular assignment video. So this is the purpose of this attachment. So I close this. The second attachment is a Google document which my teacher has provided. So I can click on this and there are few instructions uh, for this particular assignment video which I have to upload. Again I can close this. Now here I can see that I have two topics and no one has responded to this topic yet. Now if I want to create my video response, I have to click this uh, green and white uh, plus button. And if I click that, because I am using my webcam to record this video, so my camera is not available, but I can import any video from my folder and I can upload that. Now there is a certain limit of video which you can upload here, I think 500 MB. But I can click here and let's say I select one of my videos and I click open. Now this is the video I want to submit as a response. Now here I have few options. If my teacher has allowed me to add a sticky note, I can add a sticky note here. So if I click here, I can add a note. If I want to have a look at the topic, I can click here show topic and it will show me the topic. And if I click again, uh, it will hide. Now once I am happy with my video, I can click next here. If my video is longer than the permitted length of the video as this video is, as you can see that it is showing me this video, my teacher has permitted me a certain time frame, my video cannot be longer than that. So therefore I have to shorten this video by that particular length if I want to upload this video. So to do that I click on the video and then I can drag this to uh, a length which is less than the allowed length. So let's say I want to have only 1 minute and 4 second video and then I click on confirm and now my video is fine to be uploaded. Then I can click on next and next again. And now it is uploading my video response. And now I can give my response a title. I can also add a link and then I need to click submit video. And now it shows me this message that your video is visible and I can share this link as well. And now my video response is complete. If I reload now and enter again, I can see my video response besides the first response. So this was from a student perspective uh, how you upload a video and how you can add a sticky note or you can record a video by clicking on this uh, button if you have a webcam 
and your webcam is free and because my webcam was not free so I was not able to record it from within the application but you can do that. So now let's see from the teacher's perspective how teacher can create a topic and what are some of the settings teacher can do. So I close this tab and also this one. Now if I reload this and I click on my activity and in the recent videos I can see the latest response uh, from my student. Now let's say how I can create a topic or a grid. So first I click on my grid and in order to create a new grid or a new class you click on add new grid and let's say add a grid and let's uh, put a title of math class and now there are three different ways I can create a grid but most of the time we use this uh, school email. Now the way you create a grid is basically how it determines who can join the grid. So let's uh, click on school email. Now I have the ability to edit this uh, whatever uh, name I want I can put it here but I am happy with that so I click on next. Now by default it is taking this as a domain I can add uh, any domain for example if I have my own website or if my students have some Microsoft accounts so we can use any domain here and then we click next and now it shows us this message your grid is ready and now I click on go to your grid. Now this grid is now ready. If I want to add another teacher to my grid I can use this button add a copilot and if I click that I can add the email of other person and I can invite this person. So this way you can add some other teacher. So in order to add a topic or an assignment I click on add new topic. Now let's say my topic is solving equations. Now I can put some description. Now this is the place where I can set the maximum length of the video for my students to upload. Let's say I decide two minutes. I can also use this bold and some other tools here for formatting. And if you want to add some emojis in windows you click the windows button and the dot and you will get this where you can add some emojis as well. Now this more options is very important when I click more options because here are few settings which we can do. For example I can add a topic tip here and here is the place where I edit the YouTube video. I can add a YouTube video link here. So this is the link of my video so I can copy this link from here and I can paste this link here and I can put a title here for example watch this video because this video might have some clue for my students. Then I can say add another attachment and this time I would like to show you how to add a Google document and let's say that these are some of the instructions which I have written for my students and I want to share this document there. So I just click on share and copy link and then in this area I just paste it here and I can put some title here instructions. Now here is a very important button if you want to moderate the video before it goes public uh, within that particular participants you can click this on so now moderation will be on and when student log into their account they will see that this video will be moderated. So they will be careful uh, because they will see that the video will be moderated. Similarly if you don't want student to student replies you can uncheck this otherwise normally you should not do this and you normally allow students to reply to other students videos. Now if I want to make this active straight away I can uh, select this active. I can also select a future date here uh, when this uh, topic or this assignment will be active. You can also make it frozen for a particular period or you can uh, simply make it hidden. Now these are some other features which you can see whether you want uh, to enable or not enable, whether you want to allow students to add their own titles or not, whether you want to allow them to like each other or not. So all these options are here. Now this is the feedback option and by default we have two rubrics here that you will be grading the video based on the idea and performance because this is the basic feedback which has been selected by default. If you want your own rubrics here 
So what you can do is you can click on custom feedback and then you can create new rubrics and you can add the criteria and then you simply click create topics but uh, make sure that uh, these fields are filled otherwise you will not be able to create the topic. So let's say put something here and maybe here as well and then you can click create topic and still we have something yes the topic title must be here so we can say that solving equations what did you learn something like this and then we can create the topic and now we will get this message your topic is ready and then we can close this as well now i have a mistake here so i can simply click on edit and this is because i have used the maximum words so i can change the sentence to something something like that and update the topic so this is how you create an assignment and your students can submit the video responses now one more thing is you can add topic guess here so if i click here now i can click this uh, button here and now family members and other uh, topic experts can join our video discussion board and if i close this now as you can see that now there is a code here and if you want to again disable guest code you simply click here and you disable this and again you will see the same message so this is how you can invite some guests one more thing i would like to show you is how you can add some topics from the disco library so there are certain topics available here and you can add these topics to your grades so let's say I want to add this topic to my grid. So I click on this and now I select one of my grids. So any of these grid, let's say this one and I add this topic. Now this topic will be added to my grid. And now I can set some other features, whatever I want. All those features I can set here and I can update the topic. So this is how you can add any topic from Disco Library to your class. Now if I cancel this and I would like to show you another feature here. Let's say I don't want to add this to my grid yet. But I want this to add to my favorite. So I can do this by clicking on this add to favorite. And now this topic has been added to my favorites. Make sure that this yellow star appears here before you close. And now I close that. When I joined Flipgrid, I was a little confused. Where are my favorites? Because I couldn't find any place. Actually, all your favorites are stored in my faves. So this yellow color button is here. So if I click on this, as you can see that uh, this favorite is here and I have two favorites before. So if you find some good topic, which you might want to add later on in your assignments, this is the way. You add those to your favorites and later on you can add them to your classes whenever you want. This grid pause is basically where you join the community uh, of other educators all around the world. You share your email and uh, join the community. If you want, you can explore these some other features as well. But these were the most essential features which I explained in this video for you as an educator, for you as an educator or for your students to submit their video responses or video assignments using Flipgrid. So I hope you like this video. If so, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and see you next time.